On the sidelines of an event at his office Wednesday morning, this declaration from the president. And I have not named a prime ministerial candidate, but I know what I'm going to do. But and my partners. After the election. I know what I'm going to do. I reserve the right to choose and to nominate a prime minister. A prime minister. I will nominate all ministers, including the prime minister, who is my chief minister, after elections. The president's position on the issue is a departure from the usual convention. The customary presidential candidate and his running mate are usually identified ahead of elections, though there is no constitutional requirement to do so. In their coalition, it was agreed that APNU will nominate the presidential candidate and the AFC the prime ministerial candidate. The AFC has chosen Kemraj Ramjatan, the public security minister, to replace Moses Nagamutu as the prime ministerial candidate. But there has not been a clear acknowledgement of Ramjatan's candidacy from the president. This was from an interview with Newsroom's Insider last November. It seems at this point in time that Mr. Ramjatan is going to be your running mate. Is that clear in your head? What is clear in my head is that at the last high-level meeting between the two parties, it was agreed that the Alliance for Change would nominate the person who is to be Prime Minister. That is the mandate that I have from APNU. If that person is Mr. Ramjatan, if that person is Mr. Nagamutu, if that person is Mr. Trotman, that is the agreement we have. The President is responsible for appointing the Prime Minister after an election is held, but it has never been a secret in Guyanese politics who the person would be. The AFC sees no constitutional clash with the Prime Ministerial candidate being announced before. This is from the President's son-in-law, an executive of the AFC last October when the coalition accord was being negotiated. There is no clash or collision with the Constitution in the Cummingsburg Accord um, stipulating that the AFC will name the prime ministerial candidate. We did it before it worked, there was no complaints. Many political, most political parties that I recall in almost every election have named a presidential or prime ministerial candidate. I've never heard anyone complain that it was unconstitutional and they did so before the elections. So I'm not sure where this is coming from. The president's announcement that he has not chosen a prime ministerial candidate is not altogether surprising. When the APNU plus AFC launched their campaign on Friday last, Mr. Ramjatan was not announced as the prime ministerial candidate, rather as the leader of the AFC. The AFC has been developing its own posters, announcing Mr. Ramjatan as the prime ministerial candidate. APNU's posters of Granger alone.